Hi, this video is a sequel to my previous video where I added some ships on basic waves. And uh, here we will do the same, only this time in C language. And there are two reasons why. So, first I screw up in previous video and most of the code was um, either barely readable or not readable at all on the screen. So, luckily there is a link to the complete code in the description of that video. But um, with this video I want to make it right. So, uh, that's one reason. And the second reason is if I'm going to make a video on the same topic again, um, then it should be at least a different programming language. This is the reason why I choose a C language. So, let's make ships and waves in C. Because C language should get compiled into machine code, we should definitely be faster than in basic, so we don't have to worry about performance in, in this case. And so what I'm going to do is just uh, keep it simple, um, keep it uh, easy and straightforward, so that's our goal here. So let's begin. First let's fix the font size. That's the most important part of this video. So just one moment please. How about this? Is this better? Maybe just a little bit more. Yes, this should be just fine now. <laughs> okay, so we have our include libraries, uh, we have some defined constant uh, um, addresses and this uh, we have two arrays. Uh, this first array, this wave is obviously our um, Petsky values for the wave character, uh, wave um, um, string and the second array is um, data for our sprite. And we have um, three variables for positioning the um, sprite on the screen. Uh, I added um, two functions that we will use to uh, set up a sprite and move the sprite of the ship um, over the screen. And we have our main function right here. And first, first thing that we need to do um, in this compiler is um, set uh, uh, characters back to uppercase because um, for some reason this um, C compiler uh, by default um, puts uh, pu pu puts a Commodore in the lowercase uh, mode. I don't know why. So this is um, this is how we bring this back. So. Uh, let's go straight forward and um, let's test this. So, plain and simple, we have our uh, wave here and we will just try to print it on the screen um, like this. Let's see what the compiler will say for this. Um, I think it's clever enough. Um, to know what to do and now let me compile this okay we have compiled successfully let me open the device okay we have the device and um, the only thing that we should uh, see here is single wave yeah okay we have it we print our wave on the screen. So, this is a good approach for now. So, let's continue. So, <clears throat> here I added some um, some commands in setup a ship function. So, basically, uh, we are doing exactly the same thing like we did in basic. So we are enabling sprites, we choosing the bank, we filling the um, 
data, uh, sprite data into basic, uh, into memory. Uh, simple, simply poking the values uh, from the array uh, into um, memory positions. And again, just using the poke um, to set up all other um, uh, variables into other memory addresses. Um, and now we need to uh, now we need to uh, poke uh, positions of the sprite on the screen. Okay, so let's do that. So expand the one. Oops. X should be ninety, and epsilon will be uh, something else. We'll get back to that, and then we just uh, poke. Epsilon. So here we need to get a random number. So we have a function it's called rand, and if we want to map it between uh, <coughs> some values, we need to use the modulo sign. So we will map it like this, um, and of course at 80. This is it, and this should get um, our sprite on the screen. So let's try to print wave and set up ship. Of course, it won't be visible um, on 90 position, So let's start on. Now, 30, maybe that. Okay, 30 will be visible. Okay, let's build. We build successfully, and let's see um, where is it? Where is it? Okay, now we have a wave, and we have a ship on the screen. So that's that's all fine. That's all good for now. Okay, now we are in the uh, move the ship function. So this is where we are going to uh, move our sprite. And uh, we will begin with just decrementing uh, x position and poking the x position of the sprite. That's it, that's all, and now we can begin with our checking um, for boundaries, checking for the <coughs> exposition of the sprites and see uh, where we are. So if we are at zero and uh, we are on the right part of the screen, um, then, oops. Uh, then we will perform some uh, changes. So first of all, XP will become zero. Uh, X will become 255. And now we have to uh, poke that values to memory. XP and this is 16, so this is one uh, part, and uh, we have one more. Um, uh, else, if um, Uh, is equal uh, zero. 
In that case, we need to restart our positions as sprite position, so we have to start all over again. So we are, uh, what we need to do is put entire this code. Uh, this is like this code here. So because we don't want to repeat all this, we will. Uh, make another function out of this. So, one moment, please. So, points. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, uh, init ship position, something like that. Uh, Okay, and we will do it uh, here, and we will do it here. Okay, so this is all well and good, and now what we need to do is uh, we need some while loop. Um, we are going to do here is we just print our pattern of the wave and we will um, move the ship that's all um, that's all we are going to do so let's let's try to build this okay oh here we go well, our ship is very fast. Um, we need to slow this down a little bit. So, um, p -p 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 how to do this? Ah, uh, okay. We will introduce um, uh, uh, sign. C equals zero. Okay, we are adding additional um, additional uh, variable C that we are going to increment, and we will um, move our sprite only maybe every two, maybe every second or every third, um, maybe every third. Um, Every third time, so um, so we are. What we are doing here is we will print three wave patterns and then we will move a sprite and so on. So and um, okay, let's try this. Maybe this slows down our ship a little bit. Um, and we have an error. I messed up something. Okay, I need to I need to sign a variable at the beginning. Okay, that was the problem. Okay. Let's try now. Okay, now it's good. Okay. Uh, where are we? Okay, and okay. Now it's looking good. <laughs> okay. This looks really nice. So it was um, really easy to do it in C. It's just um, it feels a little bit awkward to program something for Commodore 64 in the C language and use while loops and other <laughs> varies and <coughs> variables okay but it works works really nice and just because we can um, um, I made additional version here in C 
uh, with two sprites, so we have two ships. So uh, this um, previous variables where we had just single variable, now we have an array of two. So y position, x position, x position, and xp. Um, also, we have additional two variables for uh, different speeds between the between the ships and the go. Uh, Array uh, is um, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So whether the sprite is uh, um, ready to start moving or it's just waiting. So it's all just using this um, random functions. So we give a <coughs> random speed. Uh, we have a random um, uh, number to go or not to go. So some stuff like that um, the only difference here is we uh, because we have two sprites now uh, we cannot just um, um, use complete um, um, <coughs> uh, this uh, um, XP uh, variable is not only for one sprite it we need to be careful and uh, just um, change a bit that is um, uh, corresponding to uh, exactly that sprite so we cannot uh, just poke um, entire value so we have to uh, a little bit uh, play with the bits a little bit but that's all fine um, the other thing is um, when we move a sprite uh, instead of just moving uh, one we have a loop and moving uh, two sprites so nothing really special here and the rest of it is all just the same um, so let's try to build this uh, uh, let's try to build this and run it so Okay, let's build and here we go. And we have uh, two ships now. <laughs> you see that there are different speeds and uh, and they are not starting and, uh, at the same time. So this gives a little bit more dynamic. Um, That yeah, looks good. So there they are. Ships on the waves in sea. hoping to end this topic with this video um, and that's all for today thank you for watching and goodbye